Hey, and welcome back to Chuck's Tuesday Tips. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and New Year's and survived without too many casualties. I know Jeff had a kind of rough time in Las Vegas. We still haven't, JJ hasn't resurfaced yet, so I'm not sure what he did on New Year's, but that was a week ago and I still haven't seen him. Anyway, as you can see, we got the ODAD from our last trip put together, but you're always hearing me talk about setting the feet and the importance of putting weight on the feet. So I thought I'd show you how I'm going to set these feet on this thing. Now a lot of times when guys mount stuff, and see it all the time, they'll mount a life size on a board like this and they'll just bolt it to it and they'll put their feet on like a piece of plywood or something and try and set it that way. And then when you go see it on the base, you look and there's air between the hoof and the rock or they build the rock up to the foot or even though they try to give the illusion of weight that the animal's pressing down it's just not there and the only way to do that is to always have your base um, built before your your mount now I went ahead and my customer ordered a pre-made rock from uh, Consolidated taxidermy supply for this ODAT. And uh, made my job a little easier, but I want to show you something here what I did on these hoofs. First of all, I come in and I carved out here so that the rod, that there's no space, and then I made enough room for my, my uh, nut to make sure that it's below the hoof that way there'll be something when I bolt to I mean technically you should put a washer on there I'm going to try to not do that and then I had to redrill my holes because when I did it the first time the rod hit the side of the rock and we couldn't bolt it to it so Gonna bolt it down. Coming back here to the back of the cave. I don't know if you can get back here. All I'm doing is putting the nuts on. And then this way, we're going to be able to have these feet really actually have the weight of the animal on it. Splay the toes a little bit like it's putting weight on it. This nut won't start. It's got to be one in every crowd. People always ask me, why don't you make sure everything's going to work ahead of time? And I always say, what's the fun in that? You know? Because when you're really doing this in combat, stuff, there we go. Stuff doesn't really work. Man. Sometimes when you get these things, they're foam in the threads. And, uh,. keeps it from spinning on. Now the long one just spun right down. And the short one here is going to fight me to the death. Where we need to wrench from cobalt, huh, Jeff? As seen on TV. Yep. The rash Pro wrench. probably would make it a lot easier up in there, I'm sure. You know what? It would probably, huh? But how often do we do this? Not, Not often enough to go buy one. All right. 
Besides, it wouldn't be combat tactical. That's it. right. We're in the trenches the here. Way. Around here, we mount the animal in like five minutes. Putting it on a rock takes an hour and a half. That's right. Damn. There it goes. Well, that was an adventure. And then some. Okay, now I'll start tightening it. it on there to like super you know super tight just has to be snug snug as a sheep on a rock speaking of that we got a big desert sheep coming in maybe next week my language up in the front that means the tip of the toe is still probably not on the rock See how much we're adjusting this to get it to touch the rock? Imagine if you just put it on, say, a piece of flat plywood and then tried to stick it on your rock later. There's no way it's going to match. And then it won't really look like it has, it'll look like it's just sliding off the rock or, you know. So you let it cure solo out in the air just on its own? Yeah, it, it's, well, if you know what you're looking for, that's plain. Gotcha. Okay. A lot of people don't know this shit like that, but it drives me crazy. 